So I just got back from an Aldi shop and I am gonna show you what I bought today. I stocked up because now that our pantry is completely finished in the basement, which I will show you in an upcoming video, I realized that there's some gaps in some things because it hasn't been very organized. And now that it is, I can see where things are missing. So I was trying to stock up and then also the holidays are coming. So I'm beginning to stock for that as well. So this bill was $415 and it kind of stressed me out to be honest with you. I knew as the shopping cart was filling, I knew when I was making the list, it was gonna be expensive. But as it was filling up and it was getting heavier and heavier, I thought, oh boy. And I was really hoping it would stay under 400, but it didn't. But to be honest with you, for the last several weeks, I've only spent about $200 at Aldi every trip. And so I feel like this was coming anyway. So I feel like I was kind of prepared for it, but I really wish it had been less. But I'll show you what I got. I'll explain some of the different meals that we're gonna be having this week with these different foods, why I stocked up on certain things, and also some of the holiday stuff that I got. So let's get to it. Starting down here is the spring water that we like to get from Aldi. I got two um, cases of these because we are completely out and we don't usually let ourselves run out. These are just great in emergency um, situations. We also take them with us when we go to the lake cabin where there is not potable water. And so this is just something that we typically have on hand, but for some reason we let ourselves run dry. So I had to start stocking back up. I only bought two. I will need to start stocking even more than that because two is not very much in this family. Moving on here, we have gotten where we almost always pick up um, a thing of toilet paper and a lot of times paper towels, but most often toilet paper every single time we go to the store. We like the Angel Soft, and that is what this is comparable to at Aldi. This is the So Soft, and it's the Mega Rolls family size, and I think it was about $10.45 here. And then with all the holiday baking, I picked up a couple of things of parchment paper. It just saves on dishes, and especially when I use my really big sheet pans that um, are family size sheet pans, I like to go ahead and just put parchment paper on them because they're so much easier to clean. And that's what I kind of need during the holidays. All right, next to that, I was gonna put down my menu list there so I have it handy. Um, we have peanut butter. I like to keep about four of these large Aldi peanut butters on hand, but I have one downstairs and then I went ahead and just bought two. I was trying to cut corners wherever I could while I was shopping because I just, I knew the bill was gonna be big. Um, peanuts, we like to eat these. The kids like to eat these as a snack. They like to make peanut clusters sometimes. And so I just bought another one of those. We usually have several on hand, but I have one that's open and then I just bought this one. Um, this will be for pecan pie and um, peanut brittle coming up. I already have one in stock, but I felt like I probably ought to have a second one. And then maple syrup right now is super good price at Aldi. I think it's $5.49. So I went ahead and got another one of those, bringing our maple syrup total up to four in the pantry. Over here, I like to have about four of these on hand, this brown sugar, and so I bought two more to bring that total up to four. Milk chocolate chips, we didn't have any. I like to have more than this, but I only bought four this time to save. And then pecans. We definitely are gonna be having pecan pie. We like to have um, spiced nuts and we use pecans when we do that. And then the chopped pecans just are gonna save me some time when I'm making the sweet potato casserole that I like to make. And that recipe is on the blog. I will link to that for you. Two gallons of milk. Um, we typically only go through about a gallon to a gallon and a half a week, but um, these will last clear until right before Thanksgiving, so that'll work. Um, I may still have to get one more before Thanksgiving. And then the Christmas candy was out. We do an Advent 
thing and Advent is coming right up. I cannot believe that Thanksgiving is in like two weeks from now. So Advent's coming right up. We do these, the snowman drawer thing where they hunt candy at, at every night we get together. We do our Advent reading. They hunt for the candy. Also on Fridays, we put candy in a bowl out in the living room. And so these are going to be for that. I also got these Werther's. These were on sale. There's a cookie butter cream and a caramel filled chocolate. And then the coins are for St. Nicholas Day on the 6th of December. And so I wanted to make sure that I had the chocolate coins for that. And they had them at Aldi. And so that was fantastic. And then moving over here, this is a little out of place here, but I needed some baking soda. We use baking soda for a lot of different things, including cleaning and deodorizing. And so we go through quite a bit of that. So I bought two of those. I bought two butters, even though I probably could have stood to have six. I keep thinking they're gonna go on sale. They are currently $3.29 at our Aldi. And I keep hoping they'll either go like $2.99 or down a little bit more. They have been as low as 319, but they went up, I don't know, a couple months ago. And so I just bought two, even though I know I'm gonna need more than that. Um, I keep them in the freezer. I like to have like a dozen on hand. We probably go through a couple of these a week. And then they had the cherries. I only bought one. Um, we make a cherry soup that is from my Mennonite heritage. And so that is what this is for. And then they also had these cookies that I thought would be really good for the holiday season so that I don't have to necessarily make them. And I went ahead and caved and bought some Danish butter cookies too. So honestly, some of this stuff is like not necessary and not part of our weekly um, menu plan but they're gonna be more for the holiday season. So I'm trying to kind of spread that stuff out throughout these next several shops. Same here with these crackers. We go through a lot of crackers during the holiday season. We are doing dips, we're doing charcuterie boards. Um, that's what we do for Christmas Eve. That's what we do for decorating day right after Thanksgiving. We do you know, like the club crackers and the Ritz crackers and we have meat and cheese. And so I'm trying to start stocking up on some of that stuff. The club crackers, I like to have about six of these on hand. I think this will bring me up to five with these two. The Ritz, we also make a candy, I guess you could call it. You take two Ritz crackers, you put peanut butter in between and dip it in chocolate. It is so, so tasty and it makes a really great and simple candy to put out at um, Christmas time. I bought a couple of bags of tortilla chips because I think we're gonna have nachos this week. Nachos is a staple for our family. If I can't think of what to make, we have cheese chips or nachos or something simple like that. Or if I'm having a really busy day, this is a simple lunch or supper even. Um, saltines, you can also make toffee with saltines, but my kids really like to just eat saltines. So I bought some saltines. The pretzel sticks, these are for our Charlie Brown um, Thanksgiving movie party. They had pretzels and popcorn and jelly beans. So I already have the popcorn and I'm gonna put these pretzel sticks out. You can get a copy of our movie parties that we do for the fall on my blog. I will put a link to that and it has three different movies and themes and games and food and decorations and things that you can do to just enjoy the movie as a movie night a big family movie night during the fall and so this will be our thanks our charlie brown thanksgiving movie um, a couple of pounds of pork sausage this is i think two dollars and 29 cents a pound they have not had it for weeks and weeks on end so i went ahead and grabbed a couple i'm completely out i usually like to have four to six of these in the freezer and so now i just i'm gonna have the two and then these chicken strips. So we use these in wraps. We do a buffalo chicken wrap. And this time we're also going to be making a Nashville chicken. And I, it's, it's got a big long name. Can't remember the full name of it. 
but it is these hot or these buffalo style they're not that spicy these buffalo style chicken strips cut up with a bowl that has mac and cheese and pickles and then this chicken sauce over it and that is what that is for this week these are going to be for a chicken cordon bleu wrap that we're going to make. And these are just chicken strips. I will air fry them and cut them up. And then in the wrap, we will put ham, which you'll see here in a second, and Swiss, which you'll see here in a second. And um, I can't remember if there's anything else in that, but then it'll go into a wrap and we will air fry them. And that will be supper one night. So that's what those are. Oh, here's the ham hiding back here. Now, this is not cheap. Um, I really need to find a different way to do this, but we really like this, but it is like $13 for that size of ham. Um, I could probably get by with a smaller amount, but I end up just using it for um, lunch meat as well. And then back here we have elbow macaroni, which Aldi is now selling in these bags instead of the boxes like they used to, and a box of oven-ready lasagna. I needed spaghetti but they didn't have any and so i just bought these i also needed egg noodles but there have not been egg noodles at all the four months so i didn't get any of that i am going to be baking some bread but to tide us over because we went through our last three loaves of the bread that i made last week i just went ahead and bought a couple of these i'm planning on making the buttered toast for um, the Charlie Brown party and so I figured I better have some on hand for sure so that I could make the buttered toast that night when my oldest son comes to town for decorating day he really likes to have puppy chow so I bought rice squares for puppy chow my husband has been craving raisin bran so I bought this Aldi brand of raisin bran and then the kids like these honey grams so about a couple of boxes of those these four will go into my cereal containers that I keep up on top of the pantry and then oats so I really actually needed probably six of these to refill my bucket we go through quite a few oats however these have gotten expensive I think they were $3.95 um, I know at other stores they're even more than that but I just could not do it <laughs> not this time and you're probably gonna laugh because sitting right next to it is something that I decided I could do, which was the coffee. Yeah, so maybe my priorities are mixed up a little bit, but we do have enough oats to get us by, and these tend to run out very quickly. So I bought these 24 coffees. They used to just do them as like the coffees of Christmas, and they do one for Thanksgiving as well, but I could not resist when I saw some of these like, the um, spiced eggnog and the gingerbread cookie and glazed cinnamon rolls so i just went ahead and got them this will be the only box of these we'll get this year it was 6.99 for these um back here i needed dishwasher pods for our dishwasher we only had four pods left when i left for the grocery store today so I will open these up and I will dump them into a bigger container that we have. I went ahead and bought some paper plates. We had company this weekend and all of the paper plates got used. And so I went ahead and bought some paper plates just for some ease of cleanup throughout this, you know, this prep, holiday prep season, I guess it would be. And then disinfectant wipes. Um, I just like to keep these on hand just for spills and quick cleanups in the bathroom. Marinara sauce. What I love about this um, is that there are zero added sugars in this marinara sauce. And so I like to just have it to dip things in. We add it to little pizzas and it's just a nice thing to have on hand. And I only had one of those left. So this will bring me up to four. And then here I bought four sugars and they're upside down, but I bought four of these sugars. I decided a few weeks ago to go to these white sugars because honestly, the raw sugar that's not actually raw, it's the, sorry, I call it that, but it's the pure cane sugar. It is not 
any better glycemically or anything than this. And it's really not that much better processed wise either. This is a whole lot cheaper. I'm going to stick with this, especially during the holiday baking. And then I may go back. I do like the taste of the other sugar better, but if you're gonna make cookies, you're gonna make cookies and that's it's not that much better for you. So I am during this holiday season when we're baking a lot more, I'm just gonna do the white sugar. And then over here, I forgot to organize this section. Um, the kids like the sweet and sour. We actually like all of these sauces that they are making now at Aldi. And the kids didn't have any more sweet and sour sauce, so I got them a couple of those. These are for that Nashville hot chicken. This is very similar to the um, Chick-fil-A sauce. And so I bought a couple of those because I didn't have any. Um, I have about six of these canned chicken breast on hand so I went ahead and bought two more and I will probably try to build that up a little bit we use these for quick meals and an easy protein source and I can use it in a lot of different recipes if I don't have the time to actually cook up chicken I can use these um, I have black beans here um, I have quite a few black beans, but I decided to fill my case and I needed two more to fill the case. Over here, Aldi has cheese melt, which is Velveeta. They have it for $4 and it's either 29 or 79 cents. And at a regular grocery store, a regular Velveeta name brand would be over $7. So I grabbed these when Aldi has them and we use them in a hash brown soup that I make. We use them in like Rotel dip for our decorating day. And so I will pick up a couple of these just to have on hand for the holidays. My cheese, we go through a lot of cheese here. I bought one mozzarella, three of the shredded cheddars, and I think I have a couple still in the freezer of the cheddars, but I know I don't have any mozzarella. Sour cream, tis the season for dips. And then also my corn casserole that I make has sour cream in it. I will have that I will have that recipe for you as well. So I bought three sour creams. We like to eat cottage cheese as a side, so I bought another cottage cheese. My cream cheese was running low, so I got a couple of those to stock myself back up. Um, this is the Swiss for the chicken cordon blue wraps. And then I have some others down here to go, like pepper jack and a Colby jack, to go for... Um, like charcuterie board stuff. We are having a chicken and potato bowl. Here's the little potatoes I'm gonna use. And then we'll cut these up and they will go over the top of this. My kids really like this as a simple bowl meal. We eat a lot of rice bowls, potato bowls, noodle bowls, those kinds of things. It's just a very simple way for everybody to build their own and I just put the ingredients out and they build it. The chicken here, this is gonna go for um, probably another kind of wrap that we're gonna do with chicken. I was running low on bacon, so I grabbed a couple of those. Those have definitely gone up in price as well. They're over $4 now. Um, at one point in time, this had gone all the way up to like $7, and then we'd gone back down. We were down to like $3.99, and I noticed today it was up over $4. All right, my baby spinach. This I use in wraps. I also use it with the breakfast that I have most often these days, which is I make up a couple of strips of bacon and then I put this in with an egg over easy and that is my favorite breakfast. And then I like crumble the bacon over it and have some tapatio hot sauce on top of it and yum yum uh, is typically what I like to have for breakfast. I needed some onions, it was completely out of those. I went ahead and bought some Yukon Gold. We like these because you don't have to peel them, even for mashed potatoes or for baked potatoes. Everybody just eats the skin. It's fantastic and it's an easy, quick meal. Mandarin oranges, the kids like to have these for snacks. I have celery for um, casseroles and then also for snacks. Under here I've got green onions, which I really like just to have on nachos and all kinds of things like that. I went ahead and bought a couple of these Caesar chopped salad kits. These are probably the kids' favorite um, kind that we get 
from Aldi. And so I went ahead and bought those as a quick side. My green peppers, that's going to be for my corn casserole coming up for Thanksgiving. And then these cranberries, 99 cents a bag. I went ahead and got these now in case they run out. What I do with these is I put them into the freezer and then I make jelly and cranberry sauce for the next year out of what I have gotten from the stash for this year. And so I already have my cranberry sauce ready for this year, but these are for next year. So I will boil those down and I will make them into a cranberry jelly and also a cranberry sauce. And then I have bananas and I don't like them to be quite this green, but they were better than they usually are. Aldi is either, it's a big hit and miss on bananas pretty much anywhere. You either get way overripe or way underripe. And so I figured this was pretty decent. And then finally some honey crisp apples, just snacking apples. That's pretty much what we use these for. These are some of our favorites. They're just really, really tasty. A nice hand apple, as um, my old landlord would say. He was from New York. And he would always talk about, you know, it is a nice hand apple, he would tell me, because he was used to having really great apples from New York State. So we get Honeycrisp and really, really like those as a hand apple. Okay, so backing up here, this is the haul, $415. Those are the bags I used. And, oh, there's my cat and my dog. That's Alice and Winston just uh, apparently hanging out together. They are good friends. <laughs> so anyway, $415 right here. And yes, I am a little stressed by how much it was, but I realize that we're gonna eat all this food. My husband says that all the time. He's like, we're gonna eat all of this. So my job as a homemaker, besides being able to save money, is also making sure we do eat all of this, that I don't waste any of this. And of course I'm pointing here at the produce because that is the most likely to be wasted. So I really want to make sure that that all gets used appropriately and in good time. So that is also my job as a homemaker. Okay, as your treat for making it to the end of this video, I am going to show you how awful my kitchen sink area is right now. Yeah, just so it makes you feel better about your kitchen. Hey, at least all of these are clean.